The President, please be seated. The court is now back in session. Audience is reprise. Parties have already informed that this afternoon and tomorrow session, the chamber will be hearing testimonies of witness. Mr. Long Norin. La Chambre entendra le témoignage de Monsieur Long Norin. Before we proceed to the hearing on uh, his te testimonies, the uh, parties are and the public are informed uh, that. Avant de passer au témoignage de Monsieur Long Norin. During these proceedings. And uh, due to the fact that uh, this witness is an elderly person and audience, who has experienced some health issues and that the proceedings have to go through the audiovisual link uh, from his residential area to the court, disruption might occur. During the course of the proceedings, it could have been resulted uh, from the technical glitch uh, regarding the AV equipment or due to his uh, deteriorating health. Des retards du the West Sioux unit and AV unit have already been asked to send their people to the location. Et Deux sections ont des to facilitate the smooth sur place functioning of this portion of bon the proceedings de cette partie and de according to the technicality of the video link and that uh, the witness has to give testimony from a remote area, the simultaneous interpreting service will not be available. The interpretation shall be conducted consecutively. In light of consecutive interpreting, parties who de cette interprétation consécutive are putting questions to the witness are advised to be very cautious and mindful that uh, they should be precise and faire preuve de précision Due diligence is paid to the non, interpreter so that uh, the message can be properly conveyed. Good afternoon, Mr. Long Norin. Bonjour, Monsieur Long Norin. Mr. Non Long Norin, do you hear us? M'entendez-vous? Response. Question again, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. Longnerin, do you hear us? Monsieur Longnerin, m'entendez-vous? Do you hear what I am saying, Mr. Longnerin, says the President? Dis. Uh, look, uh, look, I'm some nang, young eh? Mr. Nyam Samnang, are you Nyam Samnang who is sitting Nyam next Somnang. to Mr. Are Long Narin? Nyam Samnang, assis à côté de Nyam Monsieur Long Narin. Nyam Samnang responds, yes, Réponse I am. Oui. The President, Mr. Nyam Samnang, are you 
representative from Nous the VESU unit. Êtes vous représentant de l'unité d'appui aux expériences Yes, réponses. I am. Oui. The president, Question. with regard to this remote participation, how many people have been assigned from the ECCC to assist him? Combien de membres du personnel him? de CETC sont là pour assister le témoin dans sa déposition? Mr. President, Mr. President, uh, there are four people assigned to assist uh, uh, this uh, functioning, and that uh, there, uh, there are two people inside this room and two outside. I am here with TCW395. Um, hello, Long Noren. The President, uh, Mr. Long Noren. Question. Is Long Norin your vous -vous real name? Long Norin, is that your véritable name? Response. My name Réponse. is Long Norin. Mon nom. Question. Est Long Do you Norin. have any alias name? Alias, for example, other name than Long Norin. Response. I am also nom. called Réponse. Rut. The president, a, thank you. Ruth. How old are you réponse, this question. year? Quel âge avez-vous aujourd'hui? Response. I réponse. was born in 1938. Je suis né en 1938. Anyone can do the calculation for me, please? Si quelqu'un peut faire le calcul pour moi. The President, thank you. Since you uh, told us the exact uh, year, you Vous born it even better than tell us how old are you. Que how, uh, where, where do you live these days? Où -vous? Response. I live Réponse. in Dong Village, Malai commune, commune de Malai, and Malai district, Bante Minche province. The President, thank you. What is your Question. occupation? Quelle est votre profession? Response. I am a farmer. Réponse. I Je am suis agriculteur. a peasant, indeed. Je suis un paysan. Question. What is your father's Question. name? Quel est le nom de votre père? Response, Long Puong, Long he's deceased. Puong. Il est décédé. Question, what is your mother's name? Question, quel est le nom de votre mère? Response, Mao Réponse. Ping, she also Mao deceased. Ping. Elle est aussi décédée. Question, are you married? Question, êtes-vous êtes -vous marié? Response. Réponse. Yes, I am. I have five oui. children. J'ai cinq enfants. Three daughters. Trois filles. Rather, three sons, two daughters. Fils et deux filles. The President, Mr. Long Noren, according to the Question. report by the greffier of the trial chamber, du greffier de la chambre de première instance, you have no parents, relatives, or relatives uh, at marriage or uh, other close relatives who have been joining as the civil parties 
Is that correct? Par alliance. Or related to civil parties? Vous n'avez pas de lien de parenté avec la personne mise en examen ou avec les parties civiles. Réponse, non, Your Honor. Réponse, non. The President, uh, thank you. Have you taken an oath? Question. Avez-vous prêté serment? Yes. Réponse. I already have uh, done it. Oui, j'ai prêté serment. Face the witness. The President, uh, in this hearing and as Question. a witness before this chamber, you can refuse to respond to any questions or make de any devant cette chambre vous pouvez submission refuser de répondre à des questions against yourself or you are entitled with the right vous not to testify vous against yourself or self incrimination vous -même. in other words you can refuse to make any or to testify Autrement dit, or to give any testimonies which can be pouvez refuser held against you. De répondre à toutes questions And qui pourraient être tenues contre vous. Secondly, since the interpretation point, needs to be conducted consecutively, you are advised to leave a break or to pause Veuillez, vous plaît, so that, that the interpreters can fully convey your message through their rendition. Pour que bien Do you votre message. hear us? Response, no, Réponse. I'm afraid not. No. Uh, I would like to go to the bathroom. J'ai besoin d'aller aux toilettes. The President, uh, please be informed that uh, we understand your situation, aging situation. If Nous you would like uh, to go to the bathroom, indeed uh, you can si go pause, uh, immediately as you wish. Uh, Council for yes, you may Some group and Mr. President, could you please uh, put uh, another question to him? Because uh, when you ask uh, whether have uh, whether he has taken an oath already, uh, he seemed to have misunderstood the term oath. Because in Khmer, the term oath is uh, easily mistaken for letter. And when he responded that uh, he has already done it, perhaps it means he has received the letter rather than has taken an oath. Thank you, Your Honours. If I could just take this opportunity, bearing in mind that it's consecutive interpretation rather than simultaneous, um, it's really going to take double the time uh, to examine this witness, and, and also in relation to the video link and his health. I would ask, given the time the prosecution has, till the, till the end of the day, I assume that will be four o'clock, and then, Le at the end of the day, we could provide you with an assessment heures, of how long si further the prosecution would need. À la fin de la journée, um, this witness, of course, is quite significant, and uh, vous we would like to capture de um, de temps all of the knowledge he has on the environment. Pour that the court has accepted to your honour.
So today, look, long no run. The president. The president. Uh, good afternoon again, Mr. Long Noren. Bonjour, Monsieur Long Noren. Mr. Long Noren, I would like to read uh, this again to you during the course of your testimony. La question suivante. You have the right to plutôt vous explique, donner go suivante. to Dans le cadre de votre the témoignage. bathroom. You only vous need pouvez aller to aux toilettes tell si the vous court en avez besoin, vous n'avez qu'à nous le dire. Before you leave for the bathroom. And uh, with regard to your statement, which is not yet clear, I uh, indicated, uh, uh, we would like to put the same question again, whether Nous you have already demander, taken an oath plus, si before you are here to give testimony before this chamber. Avant de témoigner. Do you hear us? Mr. Long Noren, have you already taken an oath? Avez-vous prêté serment? Response uh, Yes, I have indeed uh, oui. taken an oath. J'ai prêté serment. The president, when did you do that? Uh, respond. I have fait? just done it just now. Réponse. Je viens tout juste de le faire. The president, thank you. Mr. Co-prosecutors, according to Internal Rule 91 bis, en application de La règle 91, 91 bis. And according to the order of the questioning of the witness, with you have now uh, been given the floor to vous avez la indeed uh, put questions uh, to this witness. Pour votre interrogatoire du uh, good afternoon, Your Honors, and thank you very much. Um, as a preliminary uh, issue before I start, uh, because the witness is uh, on video screen here, uh, um, uh, I would request uh, respectfully if it is possible for me to do my questioning uh, seated in this case so that I may be able to see the witness. Court officer, could you please assist uh, to make sure that the uh, interpreting is um, already functional? Le signal parvient bien à la cabine d'interprétation. The president. Le président. International co-prosecutor. Actually, the problem with regard to the interference of the noise in the background has not been resulted from the technicality 
uh, the equipment at this place. Mm. Indeed, uh, there has been uh, the sound of music in the background yeah, because at that music. location there was uh, there is a ceremony no, and there are loudspeakers uh, 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 um, projecting on this uh, music uh, could be heard. Now, uh, they have already asked uh, the organizer of that ceremony to Ils turn away the loudspeaker so that uh, we would not hear uh, this uh, background music again. So uh, the witness is allowed to sit, remain seated while responding to questions. Musique. You may now proceed with your questions. Vous avez maintenant la parole. Uh, thank you very much, Your Honor. Uh, good afternoon, uh, Mr. Long Naren. My name is Dale Isaac and uh, I will be uh, asking you some questions this afternoon on behalf of the Office of the Prosecutors. Can you hear me okay? Mr. Long Narin, can, can you hear me? I um, said, uh, Long Narin, I heard. Uh, Somebody was talking, but I didn't know what uh, was it about. Uh, Mr. Long I, I was introducing myself, and I wanted to make sure that you can hear hear me okay when I'm asking questions. So, if you have any trouble understanding or hearing my questions, please tell us, and and I will repeat them. Okay. Uh, your Honors, I'm not, I'm not sure whether you can hear me, but I'll start and let's see how it, how it works. Mr. Longerin, if, if you can hear me, the first thing I wanted to ask you about was to tell the court about your educational background. Mr. Longnerin, I'm not sure if you heard me, but we, the, the first thing, first question we have for you is just to tell the court about the schools that you went to, uh, the education you received when you were younger. The President, Mr. Nyam Samnang, can you Monsieur hear the question being put by the International Co Prosecutor? Tell the court, que Mr. Nyam Samnang, you yourself, do you hear this? Vous, nous -vous? Mr. Nyam Samnang, indeed, Nyam Mr. Samnang. President, oui. I hear oui, what the Co Prosecutor is asking. What about Mr. Longnerun? Uh, does he also hear that? Longnerin responses, uh, I have 
I, I know that the question is being put, uh, but uh, I cannot really understand what it was about. Mais je, je ne comprends pas très bien. Uh, are you, uh, is someone translating? Are you hearing my questions in Khmer, or are you only hearing them in English? Your, Your Honor, I'm not, I'm not getting a translation of what, what he's saying. Okay. Let, let me try one more time. Um, Mr. Long Narin, um, could you tell us uh, where you went to school when you were young? Response. Réponse. When I was young, I uh, went to study in Czechoslovakia. Je suis allé étudier en, en Tchécoslovaquie quand j'étais plus jeune. How long did you study in Czechoslovakia? Combien de temps avez étudié en Tchécoslovaquie? <coughs> Response, I was there for 10 years. Pendant 10 ans. Could you tell us what, which years? Pouvez-vous nous dire quelles années c'était? Response, I was there in 1960. De 1960. And I continued to remain there until 1971. 71. I went to Beijing because Puis King Sihanouk appealed for people to go to Beijing. And I went there so that I could uh, work in, uh, for the country. During the time you were in Czechoslovakia, what did you study? Response I studied uh, gymnastics. At uh, the Prague, uh, at the city of Prague. À Prague. And during the years that you were in Question. Czechoslovakia, did you have any Ces contact années, with representatives contact of the Workers' Party of Kampuchea, which became the Communist Party of Kampuchea? Response. At that time, I did not have any contact with any political parties in Cambodia. Were you invited uh, by anyone uh, particularly uh, to go to Beijing, or was that a decision that you made on your own? Response. 
At that time, the king, former king Sihanouk, appealed and I had to come to Cambodia through Beijing as a result of the appeal by the king. How long were you in, in Beijing, uh, Mr. Long Narin? Mr. Long Narin, I cannot really hear your question. Je pas votre question. The President, uh, Mr. Samnang, if you hear the question and that uh, Mr. Long Narin cannot catch the question, could you please assist him by repeating the question more clearly so that he can respond? Mr. Samnang, yes, Your Honor, I will exactly follow your instruction. Response. I had been in Beijing for six months. J'ai passé six mois à Pékin. I had been there until the government, the Krung, returned to Cambodia. J'y suis resté jusqu'au retour du Krung au Cambodge. Did, did you join the resistance while you were in Beijing? Response. When I was in Beijing, I had joined Pékin, the resistance. resistance. The movement uh, headed uh, by King Norodom Sihanouk. Perhaps you could just tell the chamber how how is it that you joined the revolution? Was there was there a process that you had to go through in order to join the revolution? Processus par lequel il fallait passer pour rejoindre les rangs de la révolution. Response. I joined uh, the resistance when uh, the resistance was under the royal government in Beijing, and I worked at the uh, Foreign Affairs Ministry. Who, who was it that hired you to work at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Beijing? At that time, response, the graduate uh, from abroad would be asked to join the royal government of National Union of Cambodia, and uh, His Excellency Saran Cha was uh, in charge of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. We did not need to apply for the position because 
people who graduated uh, from a school in a foreign country Car would be able to join at the office, at the office in Beijing, and that uh, we were supposed to help uh, with uh, the facts, the uh, writing of letter and other tasks. Uh, et Do you know uh, Ying Siri? Response. Initially, I had never known him. I only knew him when I worked at that ministry. I knew him very well then. Okay. Can you tell the court when you first met Ying Sari? I respond. I met uh, Mr. Ying Sari when I attended uh, or when I worked at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Beijing. I used to see him when he returned from France, but uh, it was just a normal contact. I would ask him uh, how he was, but nothing politics uh, were being discussed when I met him before. Could you tell us, when you say that you, you had met turn from France, uh, what time, what years are you talking about? Answer. I cannot recall the year. When you said that he was had returned from from France, returned to where? Where was it that you that you had uh, met Mr. Ying Siri before the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Beijing? Answer. Well, I did not meet him in uh, Beijing. Actually, I met him in Phnom Penh. He was uh, walking with uh, his wife uh, during a ceremony or festival or so, and a friend of mine uh, knew him, so he uh, just uh, told me that uh, that person was uh, Ying Sari. Then I greeted uh, Ying Sari uh, on that day, and that was all. Was this before to Czechoslovakia in 1961? <laughs> No, I I cannot recall the the year, the exact year I uh, first met uh, Ying Sari. But we did not say anything at all when we first encountered. That first meeting, the first time that you met Ying Sari, did you understand? What was your understanding as to who he was?
At that time, they told me that uh, that person was Yeng Sari. That was all I knew about him. Who is it that told you, the, uh, identified Mr. Ng Sari for you? Answer. If my memory serves me well, Tat Chiang, who was a student from a pedagogical school, who was in my batch as well, Thank you. Did you have any contact with Mr. Ng Sari during the 10-year period that you were in Czechoslovakia? Answer. When I was studying in Czechoslovakia, I did not have any contact uh, at all with Mr. Yang Sari. When you met Mr. Yang Sari in Beijing, uh, what was he doing there? When I was in Beijing, Yang Sari was the special envoy of the royal government of National Union of Cambodia in charge of foreign affairs. At some point, did you join uh, the Workers' Party of Kampuchea or the Co Communist Party of Kampuchea? Answer. I don't remember it. But it was at a later stage once we uh, conquered the war against the Americans. Who, who was it that introduced you, uh, uh, invited you to join the Communist Party of Kampuchea? Answer. Back then, uh, those who worked for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, à ceux qui pour le des we all together joined in the resistance movement Autre against the Americans. So we Américains. all uh, joined uh, the party. There was no formal invitation, but we voluntarily joined. Formel. Let me clarify something. When, when you say that you joined the revolution, do you mean by that the same as becoming a, the same thing as becoming a member of the party? Well, we actually uh, joined uh, the party subconsciously because we together joined uh, the uh, party because Cambodia was at that time um, violated 
Le Cambodge était à l'époque agressé. agressé. Could, could you tell the chamber what you did uh, during in, in Beijing? Answer. When I was in Beijing, uh, I worked in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and my main responsibility was to prepare letters, the uh, diplomatic uh, letters which established links from one movement to another movement across borders. Do you recall uh, when it was that you left Beijing, Mr. Long Naren? Answer. It was in sometimes in April, but I do not uh, remember the the date, the exact date. <coughs> April of uh, which year? Uh, Mr. Long Ren, April, uh, I don't know if you heard me, April of which year did you, was it that you left Beijing? I left Beijing after the, the 17th of April. Uh, after Cambodia gained independence. Quand le Cambodge est devenu indépendant. Was there a period prior uh, to April 1975 where you lived and worked in Hanoi? Yes, I was born in 1975. Upon my return, I went through Hanoi, and I met with Her Excellency Yeng Tiret, who was working in the radio of the National United Front of Kampuchea. I stopped by Hanoi and I worked for this radio station for about six months. Then I came to Cambodia. Could you could you tell us what the what the function? Uh, what did that radio station do? What was its function? Oh, 
ึ้นทิวรวมรวมเทียบเทียบเทวตายนั่นคือถา The radio of the United Front of Cambodia is to broadcast the resistance movement to Cambodian living overseas. How many people worked uh, at that radio in uh, in uh, Hanoi? I cannot recall it uh, correctly as to how many people exactly working uh, for the radio station back then. No. Was Ying Tirit in charge of the radio station? Question. Ying Tirit was the responsible of this station radio. Yes, that was correct. Ying Tiret was the director of this radio station. Who asked you to work at the radio station? He was at the moment that he was coming. No one proposed me to work at that radio station, but uh, coincidentally, uh, the radio station was in the process of recruiting uh, staff uh, to work for this station, and I came by and I joined this radio station. Who, who was it that recruited you to join and work at the radio station? Answer. No one proposed me or recommended me to uh, this radio station. I voluntarily joined uh, this radio station, and Mr. Ying Sari used to tell me that radio, this radio station served the resistance purpose. And he also told me that uh, before I went to Cambodia, I Et should uh, spend ici, some time serving this radio station. So I decided to join this radio station. What did you do uh, during the period that you worked for the radio station? Question. Qu'avez-vous fait pendant la période où vous travaillez à la station radio? Answer. Réponse. I was a translator. I translate Khmer uh, text texts into Latin. En Khmer. And I was en also Latin. in charge of uh, broadcasting educational uh, programs, de, educating Cambodian people who were studying in Hanoi and they uh, we also uh, broadcast the idea of creating school for Khmer in Hanoi to study. So I was actually in charge of preparing program, Khmer programs as well in this radio station. What languages did the radio station broadcast in? Question inaudible pour l'interprète. 
That station broadcasts in Khmer language. Le, la langue de diffusion de la station de radio était le Khmer. You you indicated that after you worked uh, at the radio station, you returned to Cambodia. When you returned to Cambodia, where did you go? Answer. Upon my return to Cambodia, Cambodia was fully independent. Mon retour au Cambodge, In other words, le Cambodge avait Cambodia son indépendance. had conquered Autrement dit, the war le Cambodge avait against Americans. Victorieux de sa guerre contre les Américains. Mr. President, may I ask for, for leave uh, to go to the restroom? The President? Le président. Yes, you may Le témoin, go to the restroom. The President, uh, since it is now an appropriate time to take the adjournment, uh, the Chamber may bon pour la pause. take 15 minutes 15 minute break. Donc, de pause. <laughs>